Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my February favorites. So if you want to hear what products I've been loving for the month of February, then just keep watching. So let's do a little monthly chit chat here about my month, if you care. So this was such a good month for makeup releases. Uh, I got to try a lot of cool stuff. I was a very busy girl as far as trying out new makeup. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, the month of February, I didn't have too much going on because I posted like every single day. So yeah, basically I have no life. Um, <laughs> I got to dedicate a lot of my time to my YouTube channel and showing you guys some awesome, awesome releases. Just so you know, the month of March is actually going to be a little busier for me. I'm going to see if I can try and keep up with four to five uploads a week still, but no guarantees. <laughs> In my other whole secret life off of YouTube, uh, the high school lacrosse team I'm coaching, it started March 1st, so... Every day I got stuff to do now. Anyways, so let's just get into the products. So the first thing I have here is a lip mask. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but this is the vanilla shade. So many people have raved about the rose and the rose is really, really nice. They have that as well. But I had to get vanilla because vanilla is my favorite flavor. So they came out with this vanilla. It's just as good, the same formula. It just smells like vanilla and vanilla just does things to me. So the fact that they came out with this was so exciting to me. I love it. I love the smell. It's not very overpowering. So if you don't like really strong scents, this really isn't strong. You just get a hint of vanilla and it's just really lovely. And the formula itself, it's like one of the best lip masks ever. Completely worth it. I always have dry, crusty lips. So this has been a lifesaver. I put it on before I go to bed and I also let it sit on my lips while I'm doing my makeup. So love this. If you haven't heard of this product, definitely look into it. It is fabulous. Hold up. My eyes look kind of blue shot right now I'm actually really tired right now from practice this morning even though I was coaching so I didn't really actually do the practice <laughs> but I left my house and that's a big deal for me I haven't done that in a while I feel like yeah Huh. Let's move on to the next product. This is the last skincare product I have for you guys. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Now, if you recall, in my last favorites, I did the Magic Night Cream. So these came in a little set, and so I fell in love with this. I just started using this. This was kind of sitting in my drawer. I heard somebody, I can't even remember, they used it in one of their makeup tutorials, and I was like, hmm pulled this little guy out. Oh my gosh, I've been so in love with it ever since. The big bottle of this is really, really expensive. I would recommend getting the smaller one. And plus it's a better value, but it's just thick cream. And it is so beautiful for applying before your makeup. I would recommend this for oily and dry skin. It is such a good consistency. Um, I do have normal to dry skin and this works amazing for me, but honestly, if you have oily skin, I would still use it. It just leaves your skin feeling really, really nice and moisturized and ready to go for makeup. So yeah, Charlotte's Magic Cream, super bomb, been loving it. I've been like slowly getting into her skincare and skin prep range before makeup. Her brand just keeps getting better and better to me, I swear. Hmm. I have no foundation favorites this month. Huh. I've been like switching around using my old classics. Right now I am trying out the A Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. First of all, I bought the wrong shade. So if I look a little ghostly, that's why. Don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Anyways, I will have a review of this up in a few days. I just wanna give it a few test drives before. So I do have a favorite concealer of the month though. I've been loving the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. So many great things I could say about this. If you're interested, I do have a review up of this and the Power Fabric Foundation Balm Up. I did a whole wear test. I was loving this, not so much the foundation, but this is so bomb. First of all, the coverage is so lightweight. I don't even feel it under my eyes, and it blends out like butter, like a dream. This is my new favorite concealer to put underneath my brows to carve them out because it just blends so easily. So once I put it under to line my eyebrows, I'll just go like this and it blends in with the skin so easily. I don't have to work with it. It's not thick. It's very lightweight. It provides a medium coverage, which works fine with me because I feel like I don't have that dark of dark circles anyways. And it doesn't crease too much under my eyes, especially when I powder it. So I've been loving this. I'm in the shade number four. So if you're looking for a good everyday concealer that's easy to work with, you can just throw it on in the morning. You don't feel in the, on your skin. It lasts a long time. 
This has been amazing, one of my new favorites for sure. So, so sorry, normally I would be wearing these in the video and showing you demos, but like, I have so much new makeup to try with all the new makeup releases that I just, I couldn't. I'm so sorry. So many cheek products came out this month. So brace yourselves, put a seatbelt on. Lots of cheek products we're talking about. So I did do a review of the new Benefit Cheek Leaders palettes. Um, I bought both of them, so they're both fantastic. I would check my review out on those. Uh, but I did want to bring out one shade in particular that I'd never tried that really stood out to me, and that is the Highlighter Cookie. This one is in the Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad. You can also get a smaller version of it in the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad palette. But I really, really hope that they come out with this in an individual pan. It's what I have on now because it's the most beautiful, creamy, reflective formula. They do have Tickle. That one's a little bit too dark and pink for my personal preference. But this one is so, so beautiful. So buttery. So beaming. It is one of my favorite highlighter formulas that I've tried. I cannot talk enough about this highlighter formula. Like Benefit really, really did it with it. And like, look how glowy and beautiful I look. <laughs> like I said, you can't get that color individually, but I would recommend getting the Mini Bronze Squad or just go for the Gusto and get this if you're interested in anything else because Coralise is beautiful. You have a Hula Bronzer, which is one of the best in the game. Um, these three are definitely my favorite in this palette. So, been loving that for this month. I really feel like it's such a jewel. So good. Heck of blush products. All right, so the first one that I have, um, I did like a little demo on, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush in the shade Pillow Talk. I will link all the videos down below that I'm using this stuff because I have done videos on a lot of the stuff I'm talking about. So this one in the pan, I thought it looked pretty bleh to me and just like a normal blush, but on your cheeks, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It's like a beautiful, mauve berry shade the perfect everyday shade the perfect color to wear with so many different looks um, and what I love about it is the inside is a little shimmery so you can mix it all together for just a glowy cheek or you can actually use this as a subtle highlighter so that's what I did in the video I use the outside ring as my blush color and this kind of on the tops of my cheeks to really give a glow so I just really love this blush this is my favorite blush in her line that I've tried I don't know if you're looking to try one of her blushes this one is 100% worth it I normally don't like to buy single blushes for high-end brands because it's like a lot of money for one uh, But this one was definitely definitely worth it also had a review of this one up for you guys And I was so obsessed with it. I still am so this month I've just been really into simple eyes with really heavy glowy blush So this is perfect for that type of look. This is the Natasha Denona bloom This is one of my favorite things she's ever come out with I just Love the color scheme. I love how glowy this makes my cheeks look. You can get a lot of versatility with this palette and how you use it. Today, I am only using the Duo Glow Blush on my cheek, uh, but you can also get a really berry cheek with this. You can get a little bit of a glow with this or this, or you could just use this to get an all over glowy cheek. Like I said, perfect look for simple eyes and just a really pink, beautiful, glowy cheek. Honestly, that whole clown look, it's a look, and I'm into it, okay? I love it. This is totally 100% worth the money. I hope she comes out with other colors. I have been loving this. Oh my gosh. I almost want to film, like, my blush tutorial, but that sounds really boring, but what I mean is that, like, simple eye and really blushed glowing cheek and glowing skin. Oh, I feel like that'd be such a good tutorial, but nobody would watch it. <laughs> okay, last blush product. I only talked about this once, but this is the Jouer Bouquet D'Amour blush palette. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. I bought this because I had heard so many people talk about their blush formula, and I thought this was the perfect way to get into it. You get six shades of blush. The packaging is a little cheap, but uh, this blush formula is amazing. Now, I've been into super glowy and shimmery blushes, but this was a good way to kind of tone me down and bring me back down to earth because these are more of a matte satin formula, not too obnoxious and glowing like what I have going on because at the end of the day, these super shimmery blushes, they do show your texture. My skin just happens to be at a really good point, but it's not always like that. I will go through phases where I got a lot of breakouts and a lot of texture, and you know what? I can't be wearing glowy blushes. I need to stick to good old matte satin formulas, but this is perfect. 
These have the perfect amount of pigmentation to them. They're a little bit more of a powdery formula, which I like. And you can just tap your brush off and it just... They blend out like a dream. They apply the perfect amount of color. This is a very, very pinky palette, so if you don't like a pink cheek, you may not like this. But I love a pink cheek. It's my favorite shade of blush, so I've been loving this palette. This shade's a little out there. Um, I've used it a few times. It's not the most flattering on my skin tone, but I still convince myself that it is. So I've worn it a couple times. But anyways, if you're looking into trying Jouer blushes or just for a really good blush palette and you really like pinks, Get this one. This one is super good. I've been loving that. Alright, so next I have a few lipsticks for you guys. They're all kind of the same. So if you... Oh my gosh. I have more Charlotte Tilbury products. I've been loving Charlotte Tilbury this month. Charlotte Tilbury is definitely the brand of the month. Uh, but she came out with her Supermodel Lipstick Collection. I do have a whole video of it if you want to see the shades more in detail and what they look like on me. Uh, but she came out with three shades. Super 90, which is a little bit of a more deep nude brown. Supermodel, which is a lighter nude, which is what I'm wearing right now. This is the perfect everyday nude. This is a lipstick you can wear with like nothing but mascara on your face. And this, and you look much more alive. And a little bit of her Pillow Talk blush. And then she also came out with Super Sexy, which is like a muted, corally, mulberry color, which is so beautiful. It's like a red without being obnoxious, which I feel very insecure right now because I cannot find it. Um, it's probably somewhere in my purse. I don't know. Like, I feel so uneasy right now that I can't find it. But I did find Supermodel for you guys and Super 90s. Like I said, Super 90s is a bit on the deeper side with a little bit more brown. These two are super duper similar. Uh, I really kind of didn't need both. They're similar, but they're not. They have their own personality. I don't know. But I've been loving these, and I swear, I think it's in my head, but I really do think this formula is, like, a touch better than her regular line. I think it's in my head, but, like, I swear, these are, like, a little bit better than her regular line. So, speaking of Charlotte... Let's, let, let me shout her out another time. So I am trying out the Icon palette right now. This isn't one of my favorites. I'm just telling you in case you were curious. Uh, this is her new palette. I'm using this trio. This is the Diva Eyes. I'm just giving it a run before I film my tutorial. Um, so in case you're curious what was on my eyes, this is expect a review to come out whenever, sometime this week. Okay, brushes. This is kind of boring, but don't exit because this is important, okay? I know brushes are boring, but they can make or break your makeup. If you suck at makeup, brushes can help you. So these are kind of expensive. I do have a soft spot for cheap brushes because I think you can definitely get cheap brushes. And then you use an expensive brush and you're like, wow, I've been missing out. So I, <laughs> here are some expensive brushes, but I've been loving them. So I did do a video that not many people watch. But it was like me trying out new brushes, new makeup. Isam came out with some new brushes and then I got a couple of their old brushes. So these were sent to me. But like, they're so good. So uh, the first one I've been loving is the Isam X51. This has been a great big powder brush. I've been in need of a new one because my old main powder brush was like falling apart. So this came just in time. It's just a perfect shape to apply powder. It has a perfect amount of roughness to really pick up a lot of product, which I like. But it also has the perfect amount of soft where it just it's so nice and fun to apply I've also been using this brush for bronzer as well I actually use it today to apply my bronzer so like today my foundation was really really light so I was like ooh, I need to apply a lot of bronzer that was the perfect brush for me to use because it really just covered so much surface area so I've been loving this one and then I've also been loving it's like little brother uh, this is the x52 and this has been the best blush brush it just I think it was made for my cheek. Honestly, I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. And this was made for my cheek. And I don't know what it is, but the, this brush really agrees with the Jouer formula. Like these two work together. This picks up the perfect amount of pigment from here. And it's just like, I swear I don't have to blend with those two. I just go like that and my blush is done. So this is just the most perfect shape for blush in my opinion. And so these are a little bit more on the pricey side, but these are going to last you a lifetime. And I don't know, they're just the perfect shape for my face. So been loving these. And also um, I had to tell you my, one of my subscribers, Caroline, she gifted me these and I'm like, you know, I'm so eternally grateful. So sweet. Can't believe somebody did that for me. Um, but I got the eye set from Wingoss. 
been loving this set just because it's a huge range of different blending brushes and I love a beautiful blended look. I know cut creases are in and I try to get into it and you know I'll do a few tutorials on it but at the end of the day my style I love a blended eye and you can never have too many blending brushes to stop colors from being mixed together and you just get all different shapes and sizes in this set in case you're curious some of my favorites, um, the 17 brush from Wingoss, perfect crease brush just in general. Been loving the 20 brush to really get in the outer corner and the lower lash line. And 19 has also been really good for when I do want, not a cut crease, but I do want a, a more defined crease. This has been the perfect shape. I mean, I've been loving these. I mean, who am I kidding? I love all of these in here. So, I mean, Wingoss is expensive as well, but again... If you get this set, you don't need any other blending brushes, you know? So it's an investment, but these are going to last a lifetime. They're so good quality. I'm really excited about this month's favorites video. I feel like it's because um, the majority of these products were new to me that I tried this month and they just really took over the show and I guess that's why I'm so excited. New products, good releases. February was a good month for me makeup wise. Found some awesome products. Also found some not so awesome products, but um... I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's favorites. Let me know what your favorites were for this month. Of course, I left all the products I talked about in this video in the description box for you to check out at your convenience. And you know, I 100% stand by you purchasing these products because I love them and I want you to experience what I experience with them. Don't come to my channel if you're looking to save money, okay? I'm the friend you don't want to take shopping. You deserve it, girl. Get it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, remember to like my channel. Wait. Well, I mean, I hope you like it, but remember to like my video, comment down below. Let's get a conversation going. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. I've never told you to do that, but honestly, you should because I'm uploading all the time now and I want you to watch my videos. Um, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys had a good month and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.